Welcome back to another RC Wars video. Today we're going to be talking about swing joints. Now we just recently made a video on swing joints, but we left a couple of crucial elements out of that video. So we're going to go ahead and remake it and uh, point out those things that we forgot to mention that are very important. So the first thing that we talked about in the previous video, which we're going to talk about again today, is um, just your typical run-of-the-mill swing joint in its truest form, which is made by yourself with fittings, as opposed to buying some of those that are available on the irrigation market for sprinklers and so forth. A lot of those come pre-assembled, which is nice because it eliminates some of these joints, so you have less risk of leakage. Um, but being able to make your own is going to make you more versatile, so it's good information to have. So the first thing I'll point out is you'll notice this has an extremely long nipple. That extremely long nipple allows us to, um, if you have some settling that occurs, or if you have, uh, for example, a frost-free hydrant on the end of this, um, if it gets bumped or bang, uh, somebody bumps into it or bangs into it with their car, or tractor, or what have you, um, if this moves down an inch, you're only moving probably a quarter of an inch over here, if you notice that. Uh, so you're less likely to break the seal, so to speak, on this particular connection, and you're less likely to encounter leaks. Another crucial thing that I want to mention is this is stainless steel. Anytime you're working with stainless steel, it's a really hard metal. Sometimes it can be difficult to seal. So if you're using it in a swing joint where you're likely, most likely to encounter movement, um, you want to make sure that you're using pipe dope in addition to Teflon tape. So the pipe dope acts to help kind of give a liquid seal, uh, and that of course is going to eventually harden up a little bit over time, but still stay, stay relatively liquid. The Teflon is going to just kind of act as some additional sealant in between. And that is a manufacturer recommendation to use both. So I'm going to also recommend that you use both because it makes it a whole lot easier to seal these up. Uh, this particular swing joint features two street L's and a street L on the end. And the reason that I like that particular configuration is you're going to get mobility up and down. You're going to get mobility left and right, which I left this way too tight. Okay. So you're going to get mobility this direction, and then you're going to have mobility this direction. So that is nice to have, but it's not entirely necessary. All right. So this is what your traditional swing joint would look like is you're just going to have your street elbow, your street elbow. And of course they call it a street elbow because it's got, uh, female threads on one side and male threads on the other. I don't know how they came up with that and I didn't really look into it, but I haven't questioned it. So anyways, again, remember that you want this to tighten as it goes down. So you want to keep in mind that um, with your swing joints that you want them to be oriented in the direction that if they're going to move, they're going to move in a direction that tightens it rather than loosens it. Uh, so that's kind of the best rule of thumb. So in this situation, we've got that oriented perfectly. If it does get bumped or moved downwards, then it's going to tighten on the service line here and you're not going to run into any issues. Um, so I suppose that's enough about these swing joints. Uh, there's a lot of, like I said, other mark other products on the market. Um, we have an example of a PVC one and we also have an example of a discharge that we manufacture in-house and that we also make available on our website rcwears.com and it's a flexible swing joint so we're going to jump over and check that out. First I'll just show you this product real quick. This is what they call a swing joint elbow. It's a glued connection on either side and the nifty thing about this is it's got this piece here which is double gasketed. So the idea here is you build your swing joint as you would normally using this on your most likely to turn portion. So your service line would probably be a T running in parallel here. And then you tighten this up just like so and then just loosen it just a, a smidge so that it has some mobility but no risk of leaking because the gaskets are going to keep the water back. So um, that's just an example of a product. This is kind of a in between of a do it yourself and a manufactured product that's designed for that industry. Now on to uh, the product that we manufacture. We use these on pump basins, which we have sitting right here, um, or septic tank situations. And you might notice that it's angled off to the right hand side here. That's important once again for settling. So if this were to settle, then it would only act to tighten that particular fitting. The other reason that we like these is they're very versatile. So no matter what direction you're going with your discharge line, you're able to kind of manipulate that into place. Uh, so it makes it very versatile as well. So these are extremely tough. The one important thing to remember that oftentimes gets overlooked in the field is the stem pipe that feeds into this or the nipple that feeds into this. If you make that too long, you're kind of eliminating the benefit that you would have in that particular situation because if the settling occurs, it's gonna push down 
and it's going to potentially break that nipple off. So you want to keep that in mind. Um, and then the main thing that we want to talk about also when it comes to the settling is improper compaction of the soil. So yes, you're going to have freezing, you're going to have rain, which is going to saturate and expand the soil. Freezing, of course, can expand the soil, but the biggest cause of settling is going to be a lack of proper compaction or a lack of the ability to compact a particular area. Um, and that's where you get the most settling over time as the dirt kind of falls into the, the, the maximum compaction range that, that it's able to fall into. Um, so that's really about it on swing joints. Like I said, there's plenty of products out on the market. Um, we do manufacture these swing joints and um, they work really well for us. So keep that in mind and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content. We'll catch you next time.